Let the river flow. You're watching Hurley Films. Good morning, YouTube. This is Adam with Hurley Films, and I've got a special, special treat for you today. We are in the shop building, and you've seen on some other videos recently, we have been working on getting our water line hooked up. And today we're over here uh, in the shop. We've got everything else ready. So the water's now running to the shop. This water line right here is what we've stubbed up into the shop. So the people over at Quality Water Treatments reached out to us and this is the same company that I used last time I built my house. Um, and we got ours from a company called Quality Water Treatments um, in California. And they decided that they wanted to, they wanted to help us out uh, because of the fire and give us a new system at cost. And I told them I would make a video because not only is that something that's, I mean, I'm so happy that they did that, but I would have, I re actually reached out to them to buy a new one <laughs> because it was the best system that I thought was out there. I'm gonna unbox everything and I'm gonna set it up. I wanna show you how easy it is to set up because it is an awesome system. It works well, it's easy to use. It's about as fully automated as it comes when it comes to using something. So let's uh, set you up here and I'm gonna go find the boxes because <laughs> oh, look at this madness. Here we got a fridge. I think a dishwasher, uh, a washer and a dryer. I think there's the ovens right there. And I think these two boxes, <laughs> I think those two boxes are actually the uh, water softener and the filter. So that's neat. Let's get these things and then we can start looking through it and seeing what we have. I just wanna know how many of you started singing Let the River Flow after I did it right at the very beginning of this video. Did I get you? So I'm doing this just as you guys would do it. The system that I have will, will work with my entire house. And what I got from Quality Water Treatments, what I've ordered from them, are there's essentially two pieces to this. One piece is the filter and media holder slash softener slash everything. And then the other thing, which I'm pretty sure is this, uh, if I remember right from the first time, this is the actual tank uh, that holds the salt, uh, that makes the salt brine. So what comes in this box essentially looks like a trash can. And for extensive pur purposes, it kind of basically is. So here's a lid. There's some components inside. This is the actual thing that sits on top of this tank that controls everything. So this is the brain. These are huge. <laughs> These are called quick connect fittings. These are something that you can upgrade your purchase on whatever they cost. Just get them. There's a PEX line, a one inch PEX line coming in. I should be able to connect these to both of those. So we'll test it out. Inside of here we have our glorified trash can that holds all of our salt and that holds the brine solution that helps soften the water so that's everything in that box so i'll move this over here give you guys a more up close look at this so inside this trash can <laughs> this this has a long skinny barrel so this thing goes all the way to the bottom and this helps when the solution's being pulled out, the salt doesn't get down in here. And this also controls, you can see that little uh, overflow valve. This thing kind of goes up and down. It's got one of those float valves inside of it. This goes on the very bottom, and this is just to keep the salt from caking at the very, very, very bottom, as well as I think the solution gets through those little holes. And so there's a layer of salt, salt, really salty water at the bottom of the can. And then down there, you also just have some other pieces that help give us a buffer at the bottom. See this hole, this goes through the bottom at the very, the very bottom. So it makes it to where there's a big gap at the bottom where there is salt water. So I'll show you that more in depth when we get there. It is hot. We're going to sweat and you're just going to have to be okay with it. Because sweating is, sweating is one of those things that I do best. We got this piece out. I'll set that right there for a second. 
and get down in here real deep. Here's the lid, and then there's these little standoffs. You'll notice that there are four holes, little holes on this plate, and then one big hole. The big hole is what this stem goes down into that holds the water, that pulls the water up into the actual system so it can soften the water. And then these four holes are what hold our standoffs. And so it's not rocket science. These little standoff feet go on to this plate, just like this, and they click in right there. This is one of the reasons I got this system because it was easy. This has a hole right here. So this is important. This has a hole right here on the side of these, this container where that holds all the salt. This <laughs> valve has a hose. You want to put those on the same side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that our system is orientated in a way like this. So notice that this plate has one hole on one side. So we are going to put this this way that way when we put our cylinder down inside of this, we'll be able to have this hose easily go out the side and not have to like twisty do all over the place and do anything crazy. As you push it down, these little tabs will lift up just like this and make a snug fit. There you go, so you can see what we're working with now. This is gonna make a barrier at the bottom for the salt water to settle at the bottom. And then the reservoir pulls this guy pulls the water out in order for it to be able to go to go into the tank that is inside here. You notice at the bottom of this, we've got a bunch of slits cut. And that is so that the water can come inside of this, down inside of here. And this just presses into place. Like I said, our hole is right here. We wanna make sure that these are facing in the right direction. So the only other thing I've done now is I've unscrewed this little compression fitting from the side of the reservoir. And I'm gonna feed this line out the hole, reconnect that compression fitting. So when we get salt in here, we'll fill this up with water and then we'll have that ready to go. But we have this lid and it goes right on top, just like that. You're going to have to be able to drain the system. It has to it has to clean itself. It backwashes itself, similar to like a pool filter does, like you've seen us do on some of our pool videos. We have to backwash this sand filter softener so that it will clean the water. So you have to have a drain. So my drain is a little hole in the outside of my building and it just goes out into the driveway and the water just goes down the hill towards the pond. So it's not a big deal. And it does that every so many gallons as it does it for you. Just during the middle of the night, it cleans itself and you don't have to go manually do it and everything else. So it's awesome. So let's get this cleaned up and then start getting this thing in the, in the place it ought to be. It's crazy to think that some of the biggest fish I have seen caught out here at this farm were caught on this. We're back at the farm and guess who's hitting it again? Whoa, monster fish. Throw them, up, throw them back. Go. Lots of good memories with this little, this little thing. So, so we are going to have our hose facing where the actual filter tank's gonna go. I'm gonna move this guy right over there into the location. So this is the softener here, and this is what helps soften the water. Not only that, it helps filter the water, makes it better for us. It has a pre-filled tank that already has the uh, liner on it. It's just easy. It's not a complicated, like I said before, my favorite thing about this company is that it just, it's, it's done. How we're gonna do this is we're gonna pull this part off just like that. Did I mention that we are gonna sweat today? Woo! Get this guy going. There she is. Okay, I pulled you guys off the tripod because I really want you to see this. So this is the cap. Once this is out, we'll notice this is, again, one of the things I like. You'll notice all that media that's down in there. This tank comes pre-filled with the media. 
So you don't have to get the funnel. Make sure you don't get stuff down the tube. It's already got a cap on it that's protecting it. All of these things. This is super awesome and easy. I just got a heat advisory on my phone for my area. It's like, yeah, you're a little late to the notification. <laughs> this sleeve is designed to help keep this thing protected. So we are going to put that back down. It's got an instruction holder pocket right here for the brain that we'll get out in a second. Still got our quick connects that we'll get to. But let's get this brain unboxed. So we've got our directions, our instructions. We also have some little fittings. This right here, this is where all the magic happens. This thing controls all of it. This makes it to where your life is easy. You don't have to deal with when did it backwash? When did it not backwash? What do I gotta do next? I gotta set a schedule and a thing on my monthly alarm. It's easy, this does it for you. There's gonna be links down to it in the description. Not only that, but you can contact the company and say, hey, here's how big my house is. Here's how many people live in it. What do I need? You can, send a, you can get a water sample done through pretty much any uh, extension office for a university and they'll do exact they'll build the system for you and make sure it's going to work we have our brain there's a little filter screen here so this just goes onto the top of this this is super simple you just twist it till you feel it fall in and we twist it one more and you'll feel it click and we're going to take this off there you go the brain goes over the tube and then goes down in the hole get those threads started there we go very good don't want to over tighten that spin that back around very nice very good what we're going to do for right now though is we're going to flip this thing around because we're going to have to get into the business end of all of this so we've got a bunch of things back here that we need to talk about so this is the black hose right here that comes from the salt container and you've got these two parts that are attached to the back of the filter. We have to put these on and they come with a little tag and they're attached right here on the back of the filter. It's going to go into the end. Then we're going to thread this thing on right here. So these are all hand tight. So I'm not getting any tools out. I'm not getting pliers. I'm not getting anything crazy like that. This is where the salt water will come into the filter to soften the water. We got another tag over here. You'll notice every single one of these tags says stuff. So like this is a secondary flow control located between the drain elbow and the hose. So this actually is where our hose is going to attach that drains out of the building. So what's cool about this system is its ability to change stuff fast. So on the back, there's these red tabs that just pull out this right here is a bypass valve so if you're ever wanting to bypass the system completely we can turn these two valves and the water will just flow in and out and it will bypass going in and out of the system we're just going to take this and get a little bit of it out put it on that side a little bit of it out and put it on this side then we're going to rub that all over these Well, that will help greatly with the installation like so now once those are back in all we have to do is click that back on click that back on also has a big allen wrench that it comes with so when you're wanting to uh, turn these it makes it a little easier here are our quick our quick connects i'll rub this around the outside edge of it so it goes in easier. Now I got grease on my fingers and I can't get these out. There we go. These quick connects just attach into here. There's one. And that's not going anywhere. Here's the other one. Grease it up. Slide it in. Put the key back on it. And there we go so this is our outflow valve here so this is what goes to the house 
and I got this cut to length and this is super easy. You just take the connecting connection and we just push it down onto, push it back down onto this fitting. So that's super easy. Then this side, they bend and flex whichever direction they need to go. And this one goes back into connected, boom, bam. Now we just need to connect to our PVC line over here. So if you're thinking to yourself, hey, that's a different shirt, you'd be correct. It is the next day and I'm finishing this install, not because of the system, but because I forgot one key component that I had to go get and it's here and now we're ready to continue on in the process of our water softener install. The one thing we were lacking was right here. This thing right, this thing right here. This is easy. Shark bite, one inch PVC, on one inch PVC to one inch PEX. That connection right there runs to the actual tank. So now all we have left to do is connect this hose, this quick connect fitting that came with the softener system to this PEX and they will have all of the water lines run together and we can start getting ready to go. We'll just need to get this filled up with some salt, turn this on and get some settings put in and we'll be ready to go. Just as easy as that. I'm gonna turn both of these to bypass for a moment. So we are ready to hook them on mainly because I want to see what's going to happen here when we turn on the water. Everything's good there. So let's go to a water spigot on the outside of the house and let's see if I open that up, if water or air or something comes out. I don't know. So the first place I'm going to go is just right here to this faucet on the front of the house okay so I don't think the valve on the inside is open so we'll go inside and turn that valve on and see if we hear anything kick on and I just heard water got water This is all just stuff that's left of the line though. So we're gonna let this see if it'll purge itself here. There it comes. All right, now the last thing that there was left to do with the installation was this drain line. You can see my drain line runs down and out my building and it runs right up in here into this outlet valve. Now that we have all of this hooked up, we've got this hooked up, we've got the media's already in the tank, we've got the salt container and all of the salt inside of it. So now we are ready to go. We've got the water lines hooked up, everything's done. That was a super straightforward and easy process. This would have been done in only a couple hours if it had not been for not having this one fitting to join to the rest of the system. All that's left at this point is to get the power hooked up to this thing and get it set up. Good. So now all we have to do is turn on the system. We're going to let the water in to this tank. It's going to fill it up. So right now all we're doing is filling the tank. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do what's called a manual regeneration. And that means that we are going to allow the system to do its thing so it's ready to go for when it's time for us to use it so this tank is much heavier now because it's been full so we're going to make sure our date and time is set correctly and today what is today today's sunday we're going to go here there that And the time is 2.29, 2.30 p.m. We're gonna set all of that. 
our hardness, hardness level is already set and now we're going to do a manual regeneration now so we're going to do that and now the system is regenerating itself you can hear it going now tanks are all doing their normal thing and then from here on out this will do everything on its own i'll never have to do this again unless i just desperately want to do it myself for some reason but this is going to clean the water you can see the water shooting out here so you can see the water coming out of the system over here and like i said this is just run outside of my shop building so that it runs down the hill over here and goes off to do its normal thing so now my system is cleaning itself by itself so that pretty much sums it up super easy system so i would highly recommend quality water like i said i had them before they ever gave me uh this one at cost and i'm super happy to be able to make a video for them because i mean i was going to get this and put it back in my house anyway i'll put a link down in the in the description to their company so if you are in the market for this i would highly recommend to go with them they're a great company and they will make tailor make the system for you and your home now that we got this done i think it's time for us to go ahead and go back inside and keep putting closet systems back up one it's air conditioned in there and oh geez thank you yes please oh it feels much better in here but as you can see we're working on this right now and we are not far from being finished these are three foot sections in the pantry so we got two in there's going to be two more above it and then two more on this back wall so we'll have a lot more shelving to get done my dad's here with me to help me i feel really bad because my dad he went to a hardware store in chandler to try to get the part that we needed to get the water hooked all the way up and he got a bunch of stuff and we actually ended up not using any of it because of the part that i ordered actually came in today it was it was not for lack of effort that pop pop tried to make it to where we could have the water but we've got a bunch of these to get installed rubbermaid shelving pantry units so we're going to keep working on those and get those installed we've got a few of them to do this is going to be a long video so it'll be fine it'll be fine i say this is a long video and I've, we've made we've made much longer but i'm super happy to have the water softener completely installed and like in typical adhd fashion we have to ping pong between projects so we did get the pantry closet uh all the shelving installed and then we decided we got enough time let's get the water actually hooked up so went into hurley's bathroom and began the process of getting this tub shower combo hooked up. Even had to go get the soldering stuff out, which was super fun. I hadn't done this in a long, long, long time. In fact, I didn't even have any stuff. This is all my dad's and that he brought down in his bucket. Also, don't touch the hot metal. We got the old thing hooked up. Addie uh, stayed there and helped the entire time, so she got to be there when we turned it on. You want me to turn the water on? Yeah. Okay, you ready? What do you think of that? Can we do the shower? Yeah. Oh yeah. What do you think? Good. Good? Yeah. So you can take baths now? Uh oh, I got wet. Huh? Can it. you go feel it? Feel the water? Go. Look, hold your hand up. Look. Clean it up. Oh, that's I know, well, I gotta get the dirt out of it too. It's got a, it's got a lip, but still gonna do it anyway. Look at that, first shower, Addie. Feel it, see, is it cold? It's crazy to me to think that Addie's never had a house with a bathtub in it. So uh, she's gonna really enjoy that. Oh, well, we love you guys. Jesus loves you too. And we'll see you on the next video.